Hi, and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson, we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking virtual gallery using Unreal Engine. So anyways, guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have to do here is we have to open up Epic Games. So once you've opened up Epic Games, go to the marketplace. And then once you hit the marketplace, go to the permanently free collection and then scroll down until you find this art fashion automotive gallery. Once you've done that, then all you have to do is click on that. You have to press create project, call it anything you like. And once you have done that, then you have to launch Unreal Engine. So now with your project created and you can find it in here, if you don't find it, you know, search for it, whatever you called it. And then all you have to do is click open. So now what this has created is, this has created a virtual gallery that you can put your own artworks and stuff in. Now it looks pretty good as it is. Um, but again, none of these works were created by me. So I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna put stuff that I've actually created and put it on the walls. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick uh, these three images here to show you how easy it is to change um, these images on the wall. I'm just going to press G to remove all the, the symbols that are on the screen. And so there's a number of ways that you can actually do this. The first um, method that I'm going to show you is I'm just going to import all my content into the content drawer. So I'm going to come down here and I can either drag all my um, images in or I can just go to import to game. So now once you've imported all of your assets, so I've got a few movies uh, here and I also have a few images. It's as easy as making sure that you click on the image that you wanna uh, change, go to your content drawer and then you can drag and drop your image on there. And then you can do the same thing for the other images. So now I've added that image and I've also added the final image. Now that looks pretty good as it is, but you can see that here it's a little bit dark. So all we can do is we can add a light that will illuminate that picture over there. So to add a light, what you have to do is click on this little plus button, go to lights, go to spotlights. And now once you have the spotlight, we can press G to show where that spotlight is gonna be. And now we can move it accordingly. So I'm just gonna move that around so maybe something like that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit that rotate tool. And now what I can do is I can rotate that light to shine wherever I like. So the other things that we can do is over here um, in the properties panel, you can see that we can change the light intensity if you want. So I'm just gonna bump that up a little bit and we can change the size of the cone. So if you wanna have it a little bit more, um, you know, put onto a certain section, you can do that over there. So now to duplicate the light, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit this icon over here or press W. I'm gonna hold option and then I'm gonna click on this um, icon over here and I'm just gonna move it off to the side. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing for the other side. And now again, if you wanna uh, increase that light intensity or you know rearrange where the light is gonna go, you can by you know pressing rotate or whatever you like. So that's looking pretty cool. Now we have our original artworks on the wall over here. But now what we're gonna do is we are going to add a video that is going to play on the wall. So I'll show you how to do that. So to now add a video on the wall, like roughly around uh, the size of this uh, canvas, what we can do is we can now go to our content drawer and we can drag our video in. So I'm gonna find my uh, cat video. I'm gonna place it roughly in the center there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that I'm on the select and translate and I want to move it around just so it fits just off that canvas. So you got to get this, you know, pretty close. And then what you can do is you can go to your scale and you can just make it um, as big as you like. You probably want to go over the actual canvas as well. So I'm just going to move it over slightly like that. And then I'm going to make it so it fits like that. And then I'm gonna bring it up something like that. And so now, you know, you can go and you can press the play button over here and 
once you've done that, you can see that, all right, so it needs a little bit of fine tuning, you know, but um, it plays nicely and it sits pretty flush on the wall. So that's looking pretty good. So all we have to do is just, you know, maybe expand it a little bit and maybe expand it on the side as well, just so it fits um, that whole section over there. So now once you go to play and if you check it out again, now you can see that the cat is there on the wall and that's looking amazing. Now it still is a little bit dark so you can repeat some of the processes again to put another light in or anything like that. And the final thing that we can do here is we can change some of the writing on the wall. So what I'm going to do for that is I'm just going to stop that and I'm just going to zoom up to this section over here and I'm going to click on it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to the text render and then in the text you can find what uh, you want to change it to. So let's say cat uh, animation. And then you can do the same thing for the bottom uh, text as well. And you can change that to whatever you like. So I'll just put, you know, whatever we have here. And so, yeah, you can put any name that you want and that will update that little title as well. So the other thing, um, so we're pretty much done with that art gallery. So you can see that we have a nice uh, selection of images uh, there. And then when we preview that, we also have um, the video that will also be there as well. Now, the only other thing that, you know, looks a bit weird is this model. Now you can obviously change the model if you like, or you can change it to a first person view. Now to change it to a first person view, what we have to do is we will have to click on the model. And then what we can do is we can go to this edit third person blueprint. And if we go to the viewport and then click on the camera and then just move it just in front of the character, just like that. And now if you preview that, now you will see that you will create a first person experience for your gallery over there. And so the video still plays there nicely. So all you have to do is just save that and then you can export it as well. So, so when you're happy with you know your blueprint, if you just click on save and then you can close that, now you will see that every time that you go and uh, you preview everything, it will be in first person as well. So the final thing that we have to do here is we have to figure out how to actually export this. And so I'll show you exactly how to do that. So to export your Unreal Engine project, all you have to do is go to platforms and however you want to export it. If you want to export it for Mac, then you just have to go package contents and that will create a file. If you are wanting to do it for Windows, again, it's the same thing. You will find Windows in here, package content. And then once you have uh, exported it, you will need to open up that EXE to then play the art gallery. So anyways, that's about it for this quick tutorial on how to, you know, pretty much customize a art gallery that Unreal Engine already has. So it's pretty cool to do when you have all of your artworks and things like that in there. Um, I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.